seen a young man as beautiful on the inside as the whole world looks at you when you see you on the outside. Arrive St. Louis, get to the hotel, get a couple hours sleep. Desmet Jesuit High School in St. Louis, Missouri will be on my map for a long time to come as one of the best schools that I've ever gotten a chance to speak to. We're walking into the gym to meet with the counselors. Super excited. Hi, Mary Ryan, and one of the counselors. Mary, nice to meet you. I'm Jeff. Hi, Jeff. I'm Colin Miller. Hi, Colin. Nice to meet you. All right, here we are, Desmet Jesuit High School. You walk out of my house, you ain't nobody different than anybody else. We, as young people, we have to think about them now. If you can show me where your dream is written down, keep your hands up. You're a senior? Our purpose is why we wake up. Our purpose is why we do what we do. <laughs> when I went to high school, this kid named Brian McGowan, and he was that all-American kid. Everybody <laughs> liked him. He just rolled through life like, like they love it. Like the sun people. Who is this? <laughs> Everybody knew him. Show up, Fire Walk shows up, Baywatch, Hawaii Five O, <laughs> Chips, everybody. <laughs> but get back up your back in purse and walk out there and open your heart. Raise your hands if you've experienced that. <laughs> there are more people that are angry than have dreams. <laughs> One hour of your life to plant a seed. If I give you respect and you don't give it back to me, that's not my issue, that's your issue. You just sent more powerful of a message to your peers than I did in the past hour and a half. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we just finished at Desmet Jesuit High School. These kids were awesome. Because there's so many messages within the message. It was amazing. You say you don't know what they will walk away with. What do you hope they walk away with? Growth. I did really enjoy the talk. Uh, it spoke well to me and I think it's going to make an impact on my life. I came to school a little late today, I didn't even know we had an assembly, but when I came out I was pretty caught off guard at first and yeah, it was it was definitely more than, you know, because at first I hear like assembly, I was kind of like, you know, I, I was trying to, I didn't know what it was about. And then I got there, it was definitely a lot more interesting than I was expecting. I would say that um, the message planted seeds across all 800 boys. As a counselor and as a person, um, is privileged enough to work with these young men. I am thrilled that uh, Jeff has, has helped spread our message of love to one another and that everybody has a story we just but have to listen to it. I want to tell you one of the most unbelievable things happen. When you're brushing your teeth and you look in the mirror, do you see a, a, a man as beautiful on the inside as the world can see you on the outside? I want to tell you about the young man that I picked. His name was Adam. He's got a scholarship next year to Wake Forest to play football. Good looking young man, strong young man. The highlight of my message was this young man being vulnerable in front of his, all of his peers. I wish you all the best. Thank you for having me be a guest here. And I hope you guys continue to have great, awesome success. Let's get this young man on the